Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Please don't try to make anything fit that doesn't. We have the Six of Pentacles. Someone wanting to kind of reciprocate, give back here in some way. All right. We have Birth, Rebirth with... The fire fairy. Someone's getting ready to take some decisive action here. Looks like uh, someone from the past wants to return in a new way. Okay, a new phase here. Beginning. We have, I can't stop thinking about you. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. My goodness. Uh, Gemini, this person cannot get you off their mind. They're constantly 24-7 uh, thinking about you. Okay, so overall energy, we have the devil... This is about uh, obsession, but it's also about being attached, right, uh, to things that uh, are really hard to control, uh, something where you feel like you have no control over. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Death card. So in general, you're just kind of like... You know, this is a new phase or new chapter in your life. Uh, you've seen some major changes here uh, within the past few weeks. And especially with finances or a home situation, uh, you really are uh, getting things kind of cleared away. It's almost like cleaning house here. Uh, and I see that things are progressing in a, a really positive manner for you this week. Uh, in regards to your person, it's kind of like you're just ready for a new phase, uh, not necessarily with this person. Just, you know, you want to kind of clean the slate and you want to be able to breathe and have healthy relationships here. Uh, let's see what's going on in your person's energy. We have the King of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Empress card. So this person's taking a pause for the current moment. Um, they're definitely dwelling on their emotions, thinking about you a lot constantly here and the love that they have for you. They uh, are realizing more and more they're having deeper feelings for you that this is something that they can't just let go here with the empress uh they want to have this new beginning uh but be able to nourish it so it can grow uh something they felt like in the past they could not do and they want to do it differently tell me about this uh empress please thank you ten of pentacles my goodness what this person cannot get off their mind about you is they see you as a long-term partner, someone that they should have invested in in the beginning and someone that they would really like to invest in now. Okay, so let's see what's gone on in the past. It's like this realization too that they know now who they want to commit to. King of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So in the past, this person, you know, is showing up as someone that the communication was all over the place. Sometimes it didn't even make sense, uh, as well as them being very detached and possibly cold at times with you. And it seemed like they had one foot in and one foot out. They were more busy doing other things or talking to other people than they were you. And this kind of left you feeling neglected. It made you feel like that you were unimportant to this person. Uh, and it's like this person could be very passionate at times and feel make you feel like on top of the world. But when it came to emotions, uh, it seemed like that was neglected here and them opening up and expressing themselves to you. So you felt like they were using you in a sense just for uh, temporary pleasure, basically. Tell me this King of Swords. Temperance, Ace of Wands. Yeah. So how they're treating you is almost like, you know, you were just second fiddle, a side piece here to the major plan. And it's something that just gave them fun and pleasure, basically, uh, in this connection. 
And because they were acting that way, uh, this made you crave stability. It cr made you crave uh, something that was really tangible and reliable. And the more and more they did this, it made it more unattractive to you, right? This person seemed very attractive in the beginning. It seemed like you both could not detach from each other as well. So it's a very intense connection. But as time progressed, you found that it was very unattractive how they were acting. So let's see what the challenge was here. We have the world, the king of pentacles, and the seven of wands. So the challenge here is there's a lot of unfinished business uh, in this situation. A door was not shut and left open. But the only problem with this is, you know, there can be unfinished business or unsettled matters and still move on. But the universe is kind of stepping in here and uh, it's not okay with that. It's almost like uh, there's some karmic justice being put back. Uh, that means that this person accrued some karmic debt, okay? And part of their debt is to come back and actually... Uh, make amends, create a fair and balanced situation here because you have been um, viewed here by the universe as somebody that has done uh, the right thing, has taken the high road. So how you approach this person was not taking revenge, not doing things that would hurt them, right? You just simply walked away. Tell me the world card here. Five of Wands, Seven of Cups, yeah. There was so much confusion, uh, so many unanswered questions in this connection. And with the King of Pentacles, this person was never uh, providing a safe environment for you to feel like you could be vulnerable, okay? As well as always kind of keeping up this wall where you couldn't really break through. And it seemed like, you know, even if they said at times, you know, how how they care about you or something like that, even though it's very small, because I see they didn't open up emotionally here. It, you felt like it was just to get you uh, towards being passionate or uh, intimate with them. Uh, it never was to be for long term. Tell me this King of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, Judgment. Yeah, this person, it's like underneath though, what I see that. Uh, you were unaware of is that they did see that you were a person they would like to spend the rest of their life with. Although they don't like to really commit to certain things, uh, if they were to, they would choose you. Uh, but they were not feeling like they, that this time in their life they should have done this. But as there's been separation, this person can't stand the fact that they can't get you off their mind. It's like the more and more they think about you, they're in the King of Cups. It's like their love is just so intense for you. And without any communication, they're realizing that they made it look like this was just a side fling. And they fell in love and they weren't acknowledging their feelings in the beginning. Uh, they definitely hid this here, Seven of Swords of Judgment, because they didn't, they feared commitment, but they feared making a decision uh, to commit to you because once they did that, uh, it's like all could be lost, okay? That's how they're viewing it, that, you know, it may not work out and then I may not talk to this person ever again. Uh, there's just some kind of fear surrounding that uh, about relationships, not just with this one, but they just feel like, you know, once you seal the deal, it's done and over with, or the excitement's gone. There's some kind of schema surrounding that. So let's see what action they're going to take here. This week, we have Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Fool card. So... This week, this person's getting ready to take a risk here, okay? Uh, they're biding their time. There's something that they're working on here. I just heard a secret plan. So they're working on something that they feel like will be to their advantage, okay? Uh, something where you would hear them out and they feel like it's really a logical plan that they have set in place that it has to be done in a certain time. You know, there's like specifics to it. So if this reading is resonating with you, 
we're going to see in the extended exactly what action this is, what secret plan. Uh, we're going to unmask that there, as well as uh, find out more information surrounding the timing and what they will say to you and the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.